Hi, I'm Jason Rashke. Today we're going to visit Susan Soybert's residence, which has been certified by Audubon and Columbia Land Trust Backyard Habitat Program. Come on, let's go check it out. We started looking into the Backyard Habitat Program in late 2009, and the reason is our property abuts the Markham Green Space, and we've had uh, this backyard that we have um, sort of say it sort of melts into the natural green area of the green space and we're also part of the watershed we have a seasonal stream and the more I learned about um, the invasive species that were living on our property the holly and the laurel and the ivy and we had such volume and actually the destruction that it was doing to the underlying soil system beneath our house um, we thought we should do something about that and at the same time provide habitat for birds. I really like birds. Well, the goal of the Backyard Habitat Program is to engage and recognize urban homeowners, so typically one acre or less in the removal of invasives to create wildlife habitat and to garden sustainably. And it's a way to help homeowners understand the importance that their backyard plays in broader conservation work that's being done in our region. The program has been enormously effective. The popularity hasn't slowed. In fact, it just keeps increasing. Um, currently, we have about 1,700 properties enrolled in the program, and about 40% of those have become certified, so they've met the criteria for certification and done some significant enhancements in their yard. It covers about 325 acres of land, so we do believe that we're creating a measurable change on the landscape, creating a more permeable, connected, urban landscape. This program, one of its strengths is about community, and I'll give you one really simple example. One homeowner, when they purchased their home, had ivy and blackberry covering about a half an acre. There was actually a shed in their backyard, and they didn't know it was there until they started to remove these weeds. And after they started to restore that, their neighbors down the hill noticed how beautiful their backyard was becoming, removed the fence, and then they started to grow food together on another property. Just on this street alone, I imagine there's a, at least four backyard habitat certified properties. So yeah, there's definitely a ripple effect that's happening here. Are there any um, specific programs that the uh, Columbia Land Trust is implementing to help create different types of varied habitat within, or is it all just forest? The name of the program is the Pacific Northwest Urban Meadowscaping, and it's a, it's a partnership with Portland Parks, West Multnomah Soil Water Conservation District, Columbia Land Trust, Xerces Society, and it came about because urban homeowners wanted to replace grass. It's so maintenance intensive from the chemicals that you need to use to prevent weeds to the constant mowing and watering. And so what alternatives are out there? And there actually wasn't a lot of resources. So we came together to put together native plants that could be used as a turf replacement or as a, as a meadow. And parking strips and front yards are typically, they get a lot of sun and they're very dry, and those are perfect areas for these types of plants. Columbia Land Trust just conserved 150 acres outside of the Dalles, which is pristine um, meadow plants, lupins and balsam root. And so if you go out to the gorge and you see those wildflowers, that type of plant community can be complemented in parking strips and front yards using many of those same plants. And wildlife, can use that pristine wildlife area in the gorge as well as using your front yard and parking strip potentially. When we remove the ivy and the giant holly trees which are over in this area, we discovered that we had a lot of native plants that just were here but were being choked out. Um, the ivy went all the way from the stream bed below all the way up this hillside, all the way up to underneath the house. And we first removed it out from there, and then we replaced that deck and did some work. So we planted these uh, osier dogwoods. The ferns were already here, the sword ferns and the rhododendrons. So the certification criteria is based on four elements. It's based on vegetating with native species, removing invasive species, doing small acts of wildlife stewardship, and improving stormwater on your site. There's three levels of backyard habitat certification, silver, gold, and platinum. And at each level, there is a consecutively greater amount of restoration that you're participating in. We're part of this ecosystem that goes throughout the entire city of Portland. And by being able to contribute to that ecosystem, you know, maintaining our own land in a good way, is, it, helps, it helps tie in the, 
the health of the entire city, I think. Yeah. So this seasonal stream is going to have, you know, is going to be filtered. All the rainwater that comes down is going through all native plants, you know, and that, that helps everyone. Well, that was a great tour and we learned quite a bit. If you're interested in doing this to your backyard, feel free to contact Audubon or Columbia Land Trust and they'll send somebody out to your property to help you out. I'm Jason Rashke, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.